And here is the ladder now as we look ahead to Funny Car in round two with Cruz Pedragon and Bob Tasca both in the countdown. Melanie Troxel has a chance to really hurt Matt Hagen. And look at the teammates, Johnny Gray and Ron Capps going up against it. And then Ron's brother, John, will face Jack Beckman. Jack will have the lane choice in that matchup. And Gary Gerald is now with Spencer Massey. As he advances to the semifinals to face his teammate, Antron Brown. How good is this machine now? And you're going against a guy who's only had one round loss in the last, man, five Lots events. Of races. Yeah, it, he's on a roll right now. But you, but you know what? This pram car is going down the track today. We have struggling qualifying a little bit. We only were seventh. But today, first round went 83, low of the session, low of the weekend. Just now, we beat Del Worsham, went at 88. It's going to be close because Antron ran the exact same. So I think I got lane choice by speed. doesn't matter. He's taking the other lane anyway. I like the left lane. So when you get up there, this is what it's all about. We're at the countdown. I'm at my home track here in Texas. I'm loving life. But you know what? I got to get with it, get motivated to get pumped up and cut a great light because I want that W. I want the Wally here at Texas. It'd be awesome. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, he's up. Spencer Massey trying to work his way up through the points. Here's Ron Caps and Johnny Gray. For Caps, this is a chance. I mean, he can pick up some points now. He stepped back one position with the run at Charlotte, but now with Jeff Wren out early, he can do some good. Smoke and Ron Caps has around wind 422 at 301 miles an hour. So there's a few more points for him, and that'll move him up. Well, Ron Caps, you said, really needed this win. He had the advantage out of the starting line, but Johnny Gray was pretty aggressive the first 330 feet before it started spinning the tires. The Napa car, though, it was just kind of soft all the way down, but it was good enough to get the win with a 422 last time. Tim, it seems like conditions very, very similar to Q4. How, how close was your car set up to that when you were able to go third low of the fourth session yesterday? I'd say pretty identical, really. It was 100, 128 degree track, and that's really what it called for, and that's it. You think that's what a lot of the crew chiefs are looking at right now, then? Oh, I'm sure they are. I mean, uh, you got a lot of uh, schooling yesterday. Yes, you did. Very, very similar, Mike, then to Q4. So. Yeah, and Graham Light, the vice president of competition, uh, said the track temperature is going to reach 135 degrees today. He guaranteed me.